Hi, welcome to this episode of Thai Food. On this episode, we're going to make cooler corn. So, started off by grabbing my lunch cooler that I use for work, and I washed it out really, really good, and uh, got seven years of corn in here, husked, ready to go. You know, got most of the silver picked off of it, and uh, got it all ready to go, all nestled in nice. And, uh, you know, I'm only doing seven years for this batch. Obviously, you can cook a lot more. I've had up to 20 years, uh, maybe even 24 years in this cooler and made this recipe. Obviously, you're going to need to double or triple the water recipe I'm about to give you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this water heating up. Um, for this recipe, we're going to need two quarts of water that comes to a boil. I had just previously boiled that, so it wouldn't take so long to boil. So I'm going to go ahead and get my sugar ready. Um, I like to season and flavor the water. It helps accentuate the corn and makes it really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with three quarters of a cup of water here. You can see we got that boiling real good now. And it just kicked off. So we want three quarters of a cup of sugar because it'll help accentuate the sweetness of the sweet corn. Trying to make it nice and level without making a mess here. Okay, and we're going to need two quarts of water that has been heated up to a boil. So I got a two quart measuring cup here. Should pretty much take all of this. Just about. I overfilled that just so I'd have enough. Okay, so we're going to do three quarters of a cup of sugar into that. And then we're going to do a half a cup of kosher salt. And I use the kosher because it's got the larger granules. Plus another tablespoon. Because half a cup wasn't enough. And if I went the next size up, it would have been too much salt. And there we go. I'm going to give this a stir here, just to get this all dissolved in there. Shouldn't take too long, being that it was just boiling. You can see it just went clear on me, so it's pretty well dissolved, as I spill a little bit out. Usually I'll just do this in a pot on the stove. I put all the sugar and salt in there and everything and then bring it to a boil. But for the video's sake, it was easier to do it this way. And then we just pour this over the corn. And it's just enough for that many ears. Okay, at this point, I'm going to close the lid. I don't want to clamp it shut because you got that heating up right now. So that's going to continue to warm up in there. So I'd give it about five minutes to acclimate inside the cooler and then you can latch it shut um, or really put the lid on. Obviously if you got a loose fitting lid you don't have to worry too much about it. It'll self breathe. But uh, because I've got such a tight seal here it's actually a, a dry box slash cooler. So it's got a gasket and all that. So I'm just going to leave this shut like this. Let it sit for about 45 minutes before you eat. And it'll be really good corn. So we'll come back to you in about 45 minutes. Alrighty, we're back. Let's open this bad boy up now. Oh yeah. There we are. Alrighty, and I like this just like it is. No butter or nothing. Perfect every time. Give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. And uh, please comment below if you do try it and let me know. Or um, message me on Facebook. Uh, got my Facebook page, Thai Food. Also on Instagram, Twitter, 
all that good stuff. Thanks for tuning in.